In the last couple of videos, we have learned how to name binary ionic compounds. Now, there are ionic compounds that are formed uh, by species that contain more than one atom. Okay, this means that there can be something that we call polyatomic ions. Okay? Now, these are still going to be uh, ionic compounds. That means that uh, even if the ion has more than one uh, atom, it has a negative charge, the, the ion, and uh, the cation will have a positive charge. Okay, uh, uh, now the naming of this is a little different because those uh, polyatomic ions, okay, they have more than one atom, uh, they have uh, specific names that we actually need to learn. Okay, so this is an example in which uh, 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 you need to memorize uh, the uh, ions that we're actually going to be writing uh, here on the whiteboard. Now, uh, concerning cations, there's actually only one type uh, uh, of cation or only one polyatomic cation that we need to know, and that is ammonium. The ammonium is going to be NH4+. Plus. Okay? We're not going to be concerned with any other polyatomic ions uh, uh, that are cations. Okay, so that's the only one, and the name is ammonium. Now, there's a bunch of uh, uh, polyatomic anions that we need to uh, remember. Okay, so again, what we're going to do in this video is just write them and then name them uh, so that you start to get familiarized with those names. All right, so we start with uh, this anion, NO2 minus, which is called nitrite. Okay, then NO3 minus, which is called nitrate. Okay, so nitrite, nitrate. Then we have uh, SO3, 2 minus, that is sulfite. Uh, SO4, 2 minus, that is sulfate, and then HSO4 minus, which is called hydrogen sulfate. Okay? Uh, then uh, we move on to uh, this common ion, that's very, very easy, that is hydroxide, and then we have uh, cyanide, alright, and then we start uh, uh, naming here three polyatomic ions that contain phosphorus. Okay, so PO3, uh, PO4, 3 minus, that is phosphate, and then the next two compounds are going to have uh, hydrogen atoms in them. Okay, so that will be uh, hydrogen phosphate, and this is going to be H2PO4 minus, that will be dihydrogen phosphate. Okay, PO4, 3 minus, phosphate, HPO4, 2 minus, Hydrogen phosphate H2P of uh, uh, 4 uh, minus, that is going to be dihydrogen phosphate. Okay, let's continue here uh, uh, with the list. Okay, we have CO3 2 minus, we call that carbonate. Okay, uh, H CO3 minus, that is called hydrogen carbonate. So notice that there are very, uh, lots of similarities between these ions that I actually have here are hydrogens, that is hydrogen sulfate, hydrogen phosphate, uh, that is called hydrogen carbonate. Okay, this compound is also known as bicarbonate, okay, which is uh, not a systematic name, but it's a very common one. Okay, so carbonate and hydrogen carbonate or bicarbonate. Okay, next we name uh, something that is called an organic uh, uh, anion, okay, and that is called acetate. Acetate has a formula C2. H3O2 minus, okay, that is acetate, okay, uh, but generally we will actually write it as this, OAC minus, uh, that would be the most common uh, way to name it so that we don't have to remember all of this uh, uh, stoichiometry that we have right here. This will be very important when you study organic chemistry, but for, uh, for now we simply say that this is an organic uh, anion and we call it acetate, okay? All right, so then uh, uh, we continue with uh, MnO4 minus, which is called permanganate. And can, then we have uh, Cr, chromium 2, O7, 2 minus, okay, and that is called dichromate. Okay, and then we have Cr, O4, 2 minus, that is called chromate. Okay, we're almost uh, at the end here. Uh, then we have this uh, O2 minus, which is called uh, peroxide. Okay, and then we have the last four, which are Cl O uh, minus, which is hypochlorite. 
ClO2 minus, which is called chloride, ClO3 minus, which is called uh, chlorate, and then this is ClO4 uh, minus, which is called perchlorate. Okay, so again, uh, let's review these four. That is that they are uh, uh, all compounds formed between chlorine and oxygen, chlorine and oxygen, chlorine and oxygen. And uh, the only difference here is the uh, increasing number of oxygen atoms right here. The charge is always the same. And the naming is going to be uh, hypochlorite, chlorite, chlorate, and perchlorate. Okay? It's actually a modification here they want to make that peroxide actually has two negative charges. Okay, not one, but two. That is uh, uh, peroxide. All right, so uh, this is just a list of uh, uh, polyatomic anions that we actually need to remember uh, to be able to uh, uh, name with confidence a variety of compounds that will be of importance uh, in this course. All right, so then uh, how do we actually use these names now in order to uh, uh, name some compounds, right? So for example, the compound of uh, sodium with uh, hypochlorite would be something like this. Okay, ClO. And the name this compound has will be uh, sodium hypochlorite. Okay, we can uh, we can continue to uh, name uh, names here. For example, if we uh, write this compound, okay, we recognize right away that this is a binary unit compound between uh, uh, iron and permanganate. Okay, so that will be iron three permanganate. Okay. We can continue to uh, uh, put here some examples. For example, this one. Okay, there will be calcium carbonate. Okay, we can uh, use this one for example. Um, all right, we we'll recognize here SO4, uh, two minus bar barium is an alkaline earth metal that is two plus. So therefore, this. Uh, uh, formula has no charge, so that would be barium sulfate. Again, and like this, you can continue to uh, name uh, uh, compounds that contain polyatomic ions. Yeah, just, just one final example, we're going to use uh, ammonium, okay, so that uh, uh, we can use the uh, only one positive polyatomic ion that we're going to uh, encounter that will be called ammonium chloride. Okay. So this wraps up the discussion of the naming with polyatomic ions.